if you gon' talk to me, say what I like. Hey, we put on the feathers for this type of weather. She go to the club to bust up a dub. I thought it was love, it wasn't what it was. We hit the city, she does what she does. We should just leave all that shit where it was. New Group Chat Convos episode, Sports Edition. We're back with another one. Coming to you guys with the hottest takes. The Best hottest! Takes. The worst takes. You know who we got in here. We got the guys. We got Eli right here. Mm -hmm. We got Pierre right here. You know, let's get right into it. Let's, let's get, get right into it, man. I got something I want to get off my fucking chest. First of all, you know, we're doing a lot of NBA talk right now. That's a, that's a hot thing right now. MLB is getting started. We're going to get into that a little more. Go ahead and claim your team right now before we get started. Claim your team. Well, MLB? Yep, claim your hey. team. Hey, let's fucking go Mets, Y'all are both baby. Mets fans. I forgot let's that. Let's fucking get it, baby. Let's go Mets, baby. Yes, yes. sir, baby. Let's you get know, it. Let's Cleveland get Guardians, it. you know, ALCS. I, I feel like that's our ceiling. That's a different conversation. We'll save that down the road. But, um... So, yeah, what I want to get into or what happened recently in the NBA this week is uh, Dame's 71-point uh, outburst. Did y'all see that? What do y'all think of that? Amazing. Shout out to Dame, man. Shout out, shout out, shout out. That was a, that was a, an efficient game, too, wasn't it? It was efficient. Yeah, like he's been having these crazy, like, outburst scoring performances, and they've also been – Super efficient, which is—is is there something fucking funny? Like, like let's nah, say, let's say, no, 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 let's say. Nah, it's just I'm over here side eye y'all niggas because we had the conversation about Kyrie and David. That nigga Dame pop it off, so I'm still side eye. Bro, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I, bro, I went and looked at the numbers, like his averages, and I was like, God damn, bro. Before that 71 point game, I just want to throw out a fun fact for y'all, bro. Dame was averaging in nine games 40 points per game. 40. Po I saw 50%. that shit. That nigga hooping. He's bro, hooping, it, bro. It don't make no sense. I was looking at his uh points on prize picks. Man, they got him at 38 Thir points. Yeah, bro. 36. I, like, I saw one night it was 36. I was like, like uh, and then, hey, but he been hitting, he been hitting. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Dame, we, we had this conversation on on the pod a few episodes ago, and I know what I said, and I'm not going back on what I said. I'm not respectable. Not, not going back on what I said, but you gotta give Dame his respect. You have it's, to. It's just at the end of his career, I mean, he'll go down as one of the greatest scorers, but, I mean, he's still not a better scorer than a few. There's a good amount of scorers who's better than him. I want – this is a side note. I agree with that. But this is a side note because I actually watched a podcast him and Evan Turner did, um, and he said he believes he's the second greatest three-point shooter of all time. And I'm going to be honest with you. That if, shit, if you think about shit, it – That shit actually – I, it I might. Mean, it's. It's. No, I wouldn't say it's true, but like if you th think of terms of deep ball, deep range, logo type shit, shooters like Curry, bro, he right behind that. Bro, he right behind his. And we're talking about the type of shots he takes too. Like I didn't. I never saw Ray Allen like really coming off the dribble, pulling up thirty five feet. You know, crossover, step back thirty five feet. Granted, bang. Granted, though. We didn't witness Ray Allen in his damn, his heyday, heyday. You know what I'm saying? We didn't, but he wasn't doing no step back to close out a, a series. I'm not going to discredit or, or what he's doing. Contested. You know what I'm, I'm not going to discredit Ray Allen because I wasn't there for all of this shit. He could have been doing some nut shit in Milwaukee for all I know. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm getting at. But, yeah, that's a, that's a deeper conversation. But what I want to get into <clears throat> and what I was excited to do this podcast about is, so Dame has scored – 71 points uh last week or earlier this week and that's the that's the second greatest scoring performance in my opinion ever the greatest scoring performance in nba history to me is kobe's 81 point game the third is donovan mitchell's earlier this season and then the fourth is bookers against the celtics a few years ago but i honestly believe all of wilt's fucking numbers should be erased from fucking NBA history. Like I don't care. All of the all of Will Chamberlain's numbers should be erased from NBA history. That a 100 point game never fucking happened. There's no video of it that that it happened. Like he, he was playing against dudes that literally had part-time jobs that were working construction as well. Like bro, that's that's a completely different NBA. Like those numbers don't count to me. I don't care. They do not count. I would stand on that hill. I would die on that hill. And Kobe being fucking Bryant has the greatest scoring performance ever in NBA history. The book shit don't count either. What? That nigga lost. 
Like, what? No, I don't want to hear that shit. That nigga lost. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. That nigga lost. He dropped 71 points and lost. Let me get into what you said. Let me get into book it. drop seventy. By the way, sorry seventy. Let me get into what you said because you just said a whole bunch of BS right there. No, I did it. Um, Talk to him. First of all, I can go with you with saying Kobe has the greatest scoring performance because it's the you can say it's the greatest scoring performance that's ever been recorded. Because what about the modern day NBA? What do you mean the modern day NBA? Like you can say it's the greatest scoring performance in the modern day NBA as far as like talent being so fucking well and. Evolved and all that shit. Then it would be damn Dame shit. Right? Nope. It would because, see, here's the Why? thing. Why? Because no, Dame no, was more on. efficient? I'm, I'm about to kill him. I'm about to kill him because here's the thing, right? <laughs> no, they, how was it no, Dame? No, no, l- let me say this because people always love to say, oh, Wilt was playing against playing against construction workers. Jordan was playing against plumbers and everything. Bro. Jordan wasn't. Kobe was playing against some same niggas. No. Yes, Jordan was. No, he wasn't, bro. Jordan, I'm not going to lie. No 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 no, 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 no. You stop. I watched the Last Dance documentary oh again the, uh, uh. the couple of nights ago. Don't do that. And, bro, Jordan was a dog, bro. Like, it's let's, that, uh, let's bro, not get it fucked up. It's that nigga documentary. Of course he going to be a fucking dog. But it's, I'm saying, it's, bro, it's, like. No, ha- go go ahead, think ahead. about it. Think about Bro, first of all, think about late 80s. Think about 90s. Bro, did you not hear what Gilbert Arena said? Did you not hear what he said? Did you guys hear what he said? What he said? Talk to him, bro. He be nigga, talking. This nigga said that he that players was bringing in crack and they fucking socks. And, <laughs> and, I believe it. What's and, your point? And, and was and was pouring two Bud Lights into a Gatorade bottle and was drunk as fuck on the court. So Jordan was playing against niggas drugged up. Kobe was doing the same thing. You don't think, bro? Be real, bro. It it don't matter. Not so that's their fault. The opponent didn't take the game serious. No, but but how do you go and say how do you go and say that Wilt was playing against construction workers and everything? But then don't don't go and say talk about how because Kobe I guarantee and played against fucking drug heads. because I guarantee Jalen Rose wasn't high off drugs and drunk when he couldn't check Kobe that night. I'm I, I mean look, bro, I I don't think they should erase Wilt shit out of history because that was the foundation point, bro. Like. Literally, bro. Every time a nigga drop a high scoring game like that, the nigga's holding up a piece of paper and shit like that, bro. Like it's something to just be cemented in history, bro. Like if it weren't for that, there's no bro. video of it. But it, bro, you still got the goddamn photo in the box. So I, I could go take a fucking picture and write 100 on it. And then, it does that mean I scored 100 I, points in the I NBA said, game? I said the box score sheet too. That shit was there too. No, it's not. There is no box score sheet. I'm pretty sure. Man, show me. There had to be one, bro. I that mean, nigga had a hundred. I, I don't understand how how you say that, but then there's also stats that were recorded of Will averaging fucking twenty rebounds a game, or however, however many rebounds. He but bro, it's like the season. there was like what eight, twelve teams in the NBA. Then he was the biggest dude by far. Other than who, like Bill Russell, like the average height in the NBA back then was like six feet. Like I hope you dominate the game back then, bro. But he wasn't. Like, he wasn't just a seven footer, bro. He was literally. Physically gifted, like he was, he was so, so he could play in today's NBA. Yes, what the Shit. fuck? If if there's stories, bro, up. Look, bro, if there's stories about what's true about this nigga, and this nigga ran a goddamn four four and bench down. Yeah, but I don't believe that side of shit, bro. I mean, bro, why, bro, why not? What did they gain from lying about Wilt? Uh, progressing the game or something? I don't fucking know. Game gonna progress on its own, my nigga. You don't like, bro, to- I'm just saying we need to start the conversation. Like, the conversation needs to start of when Kobe had the greatest scoring performance ever. When motherfuckers like Dame dropped 71, Donovan Mitchell dropped 71. Like, these are the greatest scoring performances ever. Not this cat who did it 100 years ago, and there's not even a video of it. Like, bro, you sound like a hater. Like you, no, I sound ass, like a realist. No, you dead. I sound ass like a realist right now. I sound like a realist. You're, you're dead ass hating. I, I right can't now. get on board with that one, bro, because it's just the foundation of the game, my nigga. Like it's just, it just is what it is. And and and, How, can, and can we please clear this up for? And a bro, bit? he took like thirty fucking free throws. Kobe took twenty. Okay. Bro, what the fuck is a pro? He's James Harden. Points. James Harden to uh five years ago would take twenty free throws a game and only score fifty. Like, what's your point? Bro, I'm saying, like, you can't bring a freak, bro. It's a part of the game, bro. Like, that's what you mean. What you want him to do? So, what do you think, P? Okay, so what do you think is the greatest scoring performance in NBA history? Bro, obviously, bro, I don't give a fuck what it is. To me, 
I really don't care, bro. It's no, okay. Like, I, you you might not care, but for the topic of conversation and the sport of conversation, bro, I, I need you to Wilt, choose something. Wilt scored a hundred, bro. No, until bro. that shit no broken, way, bro. You don't believe that, until bro. that shit broken, bro. Pete, you know up. basketball, bro. There's no way you believe that's bro, the best scoring performance. Bro, he scored a hundred, Eli. So that was better than that, that wasn't even better than Book's seventy point game. That nigga lost. Bro. That wasn't Wilt's one hundred wasn't better than Jordan's sixty three against the Celtics. Devin Booker dropped seventy points and lost. How is that? A that doesn't take away from the pe- fact it was one of the greatest performances individually no, in the sport. No, Clay Thompson, 37 points in a quarter was better than Devin Booker losing, dropping 70 shut points. Up, shut up, shut up. That shit is meaningless. Up. That nigga took 11 dribbles. <laughs> that nigga Clay performance is crazy. So, so if that's the case, you're saying it's meaningless if you don't win. Bron re- leading every category in the finals in 2016 and 15 is meaningless then, correct? No. It's meaningless. No, bro. yo, you just said bro. numbers. What no, you said if you don't win, about? it's meaningless. Bro, no. Nope, what bro. the fuck do you mean? You talking said if you about, don't bro? win, it's meaningless. <laughs> bro, bro, this you nigga, said bro. run the tape back. You said if you don't win, it's meaningless. Bro, bro, if you don't win one game where you drop 70 points, you're obviously either not doing it efficiently, you're not playing defense, or something you're not doing right if you drop 70 points and you still lose. Did yes. you even watch the game when Book dropped seventy? Do you even remember that game? Yes. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I didn't. Obviously, I didn't watch the game. What the fuck was I watching a Suns game for <laughs> back in 2016, 2017? They were you're trash. Not a, you're not a true basketball fan. That's what it is. You're bro, not a true basketball fan. You know fan. he That's wasn't is, watching bro. the game. Yes, I was, bro. Yes, I was, bro. bro. But, I was watching that but, game. But Eli, okay, so if the nigga dropped seventy and lost, bro, and you got Dame driving seventy, so he gets no dumb, credit. Bro, he dropped 70. That's cool, bro. Like, he got it. He in the record books, bro. He in the 70-point club. But out of all them niggas that dropped 70-plus, that's the only nigga in that bitch that lost the game. They and, and, and they dropped those 70 points, and that helped them win the game. He dropped 70 points. Dame could I watched the game the other night. Dame could have came out at 62. Okay, and? He stayed in and got to 70. Okay, he had 62, and they were winning. Devin Booker has by ten with two minutes left. Okay, Devin Booker had sixty something points and they were losing. He dropped seventy points and they lost. How do you drop seventy points and lose? First Explain of all, they you. just they just hate this slight skin motherfucker for no, some bro, reason. I don't know hate, why. No, bro, bro they just, they hate him. They've bro. literally called him a bum on this podcast before. They. No, they no, no, fucking no, no. hate we, on no, him we so him much. Soft. Yeah, no, they we, call him soft. We call him soft and a Kobe wannabe. That's what we call him. <laughs> hey. We call him a Kobe wannabe. Hey, look, look, look. I'll say this right now. For next year, for, for the All-Star uh, weekend or whatever, if they want to bring viewers in, just have Devin Booker and Jason Tatum compete for who want to be Kobe the most. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who going to see him the most text in an hour? <laughs> Y'all are hell. I got you, gay. Y'all are hell. Bro, this one for you. <laughs> Tatum won the All Star game. Me and Tatum to say, I got your trophy, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, y'all are hell. Like I'm saying, bro, it's just like, bro. I'm just saying, bro. It's not knocking the book. It's just saying, out of all the 70 plus club, bro, he was the nigga that didn't win, bro. That's all I'm no, saying. Motherfuckers gonna be sick once book gets that ring. I just want that to be known. Because of KD. Because of KD, <laughs> hey, bro. He because had that ring. KD. And then he's also playing. He has two Hall of Famers on his team right now. Bro, I don't know why motherfuckers act. See, y'all what say happened? this. Y'all say this like this cat didn't average 27 last time he was in the finals, bro. That nigga lost. Like, bro, what? If- <laughs> yeah, another, another, another stat about you. Okay, losing, so LeBron bro. lost. But so don't bring up his stats in the finals. But, don't ever bring but, up his stats in the finals ever again. But, but what's funny about when Bron lose though, niggas will harp that Bron lost regardless if we say he led every category. Devin Booker will never lead every category in the finals. That's not his lose. game. They don't bring up Bron in with That's the not same his game. Nigga, bro, don't bring up Bron and Devin Booker in the same. You know sentence. what? And, matter, matter, right. and actually, matter of fact, matter of fact, not only did Devin Booker lose, he blew a lead and let a hurt Giannis come back and whoop their ass. That was so, it. Book was hurt too. I don't want to hear that. Book was hurt too. 
Okay. And Chris Paul was hurt. Oh Chris, no, goodness. Chris Paul. It was, that was Chris Paul's fault. It wasn't Book's fault. If anything, it was Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton's fault. Bro, you always make excuses for for niggas that you want to have an excuse for. Oh and then, my and then, god! And then hold the. But then don't make an excuse for for anybody else. It's only the people that you want to defend. How can you, know you even compare Devin Booker? Losing in the finals, compare that to Braun losing in the finals. No, like, I compared no, it from the precedent that y'all do it. No, 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 no. You trying to take Wilt's 100 point game away, bro. It don't keep books losing 70. Yes. <laughs> that yes. Insane, yes. Bro. That shit don't make no sense. Anyway, yeah. we're getting off book. We're, we're getting off that. We're changing topics because he, he all will hate on him the rest of the pod. I don't get it. I don't get I don't it. Know. He's a hooper. He's a hooper for real. No, 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 Y'all hate those Kentucky bred developed basketball players. And I mean, it's okay. We it's just, okay. We was just glazing it's shot okay. last week. Um, but to, to switch lanes a little bit, change topics uh, since y'all hate light skins. Um, if you could add, <laughs> don't do it. If, if you could add one player. To your favorite NBA team to push them into championship contention, or I guess make them a just championship caliber team. What player from the NBA? You can add any player. This is all. This isn't like real. We're not looking at cap space or anything. Just like this is for fun. Who would y'all add to your guys' team? P, you can go ahead. Bro, start at the end. The fucking rumors that we used to have, bro. Well, you got to start with who your favorite team is. Let's L.A. Lakers, man. Talk mm-hmm. to me. Y'all already know the business is. The rumors went flying a couple years ago. Dang, bring your ass to L.A., bro. Get your ass out of Portland. Man, what the fuck you that got would be on? nuts. Bring your ass to L.A. Dame in L.A. Dame in L.A. would be bonkers, bro, nigga. I bro, I, I, could see, I could see a repeat. Like... Bro, bro, that would be bring insane. your ass to LA. That bro. would be nuts. Stop, bro. You, bro, Dame. At this point, you're not running from the grind, bro. You dropping seventy one and having to win a game. You're not running from the grind, bro. You just, just come in one time, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, I, I'm not a true. I don't have a true team. I'm a Lakers fan, but I'm really a Bron fan. But I'm gonna be real, bro. If I had to choose any player, I'm gonna go ahead and. Take Anthony Davis' ass. I know this isn't even part of it. I'm going to take him and ship him the fuck up out of L.A. <laughs> and just bring AD. I mean, bring bring Embiid in. And that's all. That's just straight Embiid. LeBron and Embiid, LeBron and Embiid so would that's what you kill doing. the NBA. So you saying, so instead of just doing team, that's what I was going to say. Instead of you doing a team, you just just pick a player that you would pair LeBron and you would choose Embiid. Yeah. Okay. I mean, out of – because, honestly, I feel like out of out – of, for where LeBron is in his career and even how the Lakers are, I mean, bro, if all AD could do is score more, the Lakers would be good. If he could play, if he could be a true big man, if he could hold down the paint, if he could score in the post, if he could get rebounds, bro, the Lakers would be good. Bron to handle everything from the front court I and mean, from the back court and let and and let the big man do what he needs to do. A big man like like, yeah. like Embiid, that would be scary I mean, too. Would I would love to see that. I would love because to see that. I feel like I feel like Embiid is ball dominant, but he's also not ball dominant to the point where he needs the ball. And I mean, he has mm-hmm. Harden who is who can go off for fifteen assists easily. It don't even yeah. matter though, because when AD came to LA, Braun was like, "We gonna run through AD." He ain't giving him plenty of opportunities to beat a man in LA. It I, just it just is what it is. So I got a question for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and let you uh mm-hmm. Aaron, give give your player, and then I got a question before we wrap this up. Yeah, that's that's crazy. You said MB because I'm thinking Cavs, my favorite team, and honestly, bro, I'd add Embiid to that roster. I think you put Embiid on that roster with Mitchell and Garland on the wings, Mobley at the four, bro. That just takes that roster to a different level. I want to ask you something as a Cavs fan. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not glazing anything. He's glazing. No, I'm serious. You have you have you, I'm just saying you have Jared Allen, right? Which is not compared to Embiid. I'm not saying that. And he's a great young center. Correct. But as a Cavs fan, why would you not want to why would you not want to wing? Because while I'm looking at like the spacing of the floor. And I just feel like Embiid is just he's so useful. Like obviously he can he can sit in the paint and just be a dominant force like just sitting on the block just kill you down there or you can stretch him out and he can go to the three shoot threes like he can hit fadeaways and beat is just i think bro honestly i think he's the best big man in basketball that's really why i I was about to say i think Jokic might be 
a better fit. I was Cleveland, thinking about that in Cleveland. Yeah, in Cleveland, Jokic would. Well, Jokic's just a cone. That's his only downfall. He's a cone. That's it. I, I just don't understand. I don't, I don't really, understand I, how he's so good at basketball, bro. No, not not even that because he's he's skillful. He's skillful. oh yeah, he's for talented. sure. Yeah, yeah but. Yeah. I don't understand why Jokic gets so much praise, and he's always a first. Talk about or someone not winning. Exit. That nigga don't win shit. For real, bro. bro. Like, can we start talking about that? Uh, most likely, which I mean, I don't think he should. He three season. time or back to back to back MVP, and you don't even make it to the Western Conference Finals. I mean, he don't, he don't mean, deserve MVP. I mean, this year. This, this he year, doesn't deserve MVP. This, this year, year is more of a case than any other year, though. Low key, except for his first one, whenever everybody was hurt. How he the, he the first seed? If we going off pre, bro, I'm not gonna hold bro. you. If if the Blazers make the playoffs and Dame keeps doing, Dame is my MVP. It's not. I mean, that's that's fair. Nah. I mean, cool. I I, guess. Who would you I, say? Embiid. Embiid needs to Embiid? be MVP, bro. Embiid has been doing what he's been doing the entire season. Embiid has literally – he's literally done this the entire season. He's playing in a harder conference. He's, yeah. play, he's playing against better teams. And, bro, he's been scoring like 30-plus points. He's at, he I don't know if he still averages 30-plus points, but he was averaging 30-plus points for So you longest. think he's better? He's yeah. Yeah, Embiid is better than Jokic. I, mean, I don't care. I, I, think I don't it's, care. I think it's hand-in-hand, hand, though. I mean, if the, you pick one, I wouldn't say you're wrong. You pick the other, I wouldn't say you're the wrong. The only reason why is because Jokic just isn't the traditional big man. You're going, you're comparing a traditional big yeah, man that's a to a big man who is. He's cracked Joakim Noah. <laughs> He's literally cracked Joakim Noah. Y'all remember, okay, uh, y'all remember in 2013, 2014, what because was like, yo, Joakim Noah really might be the best big man in the league because he can pass. That's he's really cracked Joe Keem Noah, bro. I mean, hey, no, that's, bro. that's facts. Bro, I hate that fucker. I mean, if you a Bron fan, you gotta hate him. Yeah, bro, I hate that fucker. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but what'd you have? I'm not before we wrap this thing up. I honestly don't remember. You don't remember the question? <laughs> I don't I, I don't remember I'm a, the question I'm because I'm gonna ask, ask y'all this though. Before we end this thing. Mm-hmm. The West is ass. Correct. Give me the Western Commerce Finals right now. Western Conference Finals. Western Conference Finals. Do y'all want me to put some some facts or give y'all a little perspective or y'all just going to go? No. Suns and... Hmm. Honestly, I'm probably going to go with Suns and... Hey, Suns and... Who? Clippers. Damn. Suns and Clippers? Suns and Clippers. Oof. Or would they meet in the second round? You want to know what's funny, though? Any answer that you give, it's like, ah, it can happen. Yeah, bro, for real. The, the 12th seed is two games back for the Dell, six seed and the Dell. But the reason it's I don't, crazy. It's the, weird. the reason I don't, I didn't say the Kings is because I just don't, I, I feel like their experience, not having any playoff experience, that will add up eventually. And then John Morant and the Grizzlies, I don't know what those, what they're trying to do over there. They're trying to play cops and robbers over there. Rico. Um, breaking news, if y'all haven't heard, reported by Bleacher Report around noon today, uh, John Morant was apparently accused of punching and flashing a gun at a 17-year-old and threatening a mall security guard. Um, he apparently invited this uh, 17-year-old to his house to play pickup or something, I guess, over the offseason. This was this past summer. And apparently he punched him 12 to 13 times and then went in the house. When he came out of the house, he had, had the Glock in his waistband and was clutching it and, I guess, told the kid to get out. He was nine deep. Like, I don't. Bro, what, what's up with Ja, bro? Like, bro, I'm not trying to hate. I'm not trying to judge him. But, like, bro, like, what are you on, bro? <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. I, I don't care. I'll judge him, but Ja is a cornball. I ain't never been. I, bro. Ever since he came into the league, I liked him. You know, I he, did was, too. he was he, he, dog. he came into the league. The Grizzlies were hooping. He was hooping. He was making his case. He was going up against all veterans, all star players, showing that he was a true dog. At and first, then, it was fun to see. You know, him then, talking shit. You yeah, know? and then and then he starts for some reason, bro. He thinks he's four K Trey. <laughs> Fucking like, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, it's a parade inside his city, man. You ain't heard what he said, bro. He 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 damn moved to Memphis. Now, I'll say this. I'll say this. You know, people would be like, oh, they'll pull up his uh his 
family pictures yeah. or whatever from back in the day and be like, oh, you're you're suburban not this, dude. you're not that, you're a sur- suburban dude. You don't have to be like a goofy, lame ass, soft ass person for just because you grew up in the suburbs or whatever. Like you can still stand on your own, what you want to stand on. You can still be still yeah. be a man, but. Bro, to go out and act like you're some like some you came from the hood or act like you a hood nigga like there's a difference between I will say though, we from North Carolina, and Jaw from South Carolina, bro. I get it, bro. You can pull up the picture of Jaw and all that stuff, and we obviously nobody knows how he was raised or whatever. For cool, sure, he came with, for yeah, sure, bro. But people gotta stop acting like something South Carolina, not the trenches though. This I mean, shit yeah, really is I mean, it is trenches, bro. Like, but, I'm not saying it justifies anything he's doing, and Ja really need to correct it because we can all sit here. We've all said it on this pod before. As a player, everybody fuck with Ja. It's fucking amazing. It's like that. It's just as a person, bro. You got to wind back, bro. It's like, bro, and it's weird to and, do this. Shit. Yeah, it's just weird now at this and, point. And bro. you can you can honestly compare him to. Another player who came out of South Carolina, Zion. You and if you if you look at them two players, right now, probably I don't know about Zion's childhood or anything, but I doubt he grew up, you know, in the streets or anything like that. But at the same time, Zion's on the court, bro. Zion comes with that same energy where you not messing with me, you I'm big body you, you know, I'm bullying niggas and everything like that. Like he comes like that on the court and off the court, he's nothing like that. But he lets what he does on the court speak for him he's a big nigga he plays big and he shows that on the court niggas know not to mess with him but i think that's also something to do with like bro zion has had fame since he was like in 10th grade bro you know what i mean yeah. like Ja really just got this shit like three years ago yeah, he got this you shit know out of the mud. yeah and like it came out of nowhere you know he was but, hooping that last season you go I, ahead. i'll say no nah, i'm i'm feeling what you say i'm just basically agreeing bro like yeah when, if you were underdog all your life and then you get to the big stage and then you jam are you hearing all this different shit? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, yeah, it can, bro, it can really take you different ways, bro. For sure, mind. yeah. And I yeah. think that's what it's doing, bro. Especially when you're the man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got you got all these people around you, all these yes men, and and everybody know how it is with when you get some money. Especially these these people, they start to get some money. They start to have niggas around them who do whatever they say and everything like that. And it's just it's easy to influence your your actions and everything like that, but. Man, Ja, he's now bro. on my list of in contention. Cornball, Cornball of the year. Of the year. It, and bro, ja. One thing I want to say, or you go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you go. Yeah, I want to hear this. <laughs> my, my cornball. It's early. My, it's listen, February. It's, or it's, it's March. Fe- it, it's March. So right now, my list for cornball of the year is Ja Morant, um, Devin Booker. <laughs> Tatum, Devin Booker, and Tatum will always be in there. That's th- those are the three right now who's in the lead. And really, Jaws in the lead as of right now, corn, corn ball of the year. Uh, number four is Ben Simmons. I mean, Ben, ben Simmons, Simmons will forever be a corn that, ball that of the year. That ain't even corn ball of the year. That's just tragedy of the century, bro. What the <laughs> fuck happened to Ben? I mean, he, he, he won it for last year. He won it for 2022. So, hey. I, I just hey wanna, before, oh, go ahead, though. Yeah, uh, but I just want to say this last thing. Uh, it's like, you know, John Morant, you know, he tries to put this persona on. Maybe it's, maybe it's real. I mean, we don't know him, you know, but he tries to, uh, yeah, put this persona out there that he's hood. Don't fuck with me. You know, I'm like that, blah, blah, blah. But it's like the guy that we've been talking about a lot on this podcast, Dame is like, bro, Dame is one of those dudes who is like really from the trenches, really okay, out the bro. mud. Dame is really like with the shits. Like he don't fuck around, you know, and like, he don't say shit. You know what I mean? So there's like, it's almost like, I mean, it's always been said. It's like, if you're really like that, you never have to say it. Yeah, you don't you know do all the actions. You don't yeah. Exactly. You don't have to flaunt it. You don't have to push it down yeah. people's head. You don't have to be walking around with a pistol, yeah. showing beams at people. Like, you know, but that's all I have to say about that. I, I wish Ja the best. I'm not trying to judge him. I'm not trying to do any of that. But, you know, this shit is corny as hell to, to me. Oh, like, God. just straight facts, like that. Facts, it's just facts, corny. Facts. I can't. I can't respect it. You know, that's all I have to say about that. To close it, though, I just want to say to close, nobody here trying to judge Ja. Bro, all. And all we trying to do is say, bro, like, bro, you are a fantastic basketball player. We mm-hmm. don't want to see you end up in jail, bro, or dead, bro. We don't Facts. lost too many great individuals in music, sports, everything, bro. We're not trying to see another one. That's all we exactly. trying to say. Facts. Close just this whole exactly. out, bro. Just like Miles Bridges, RTB. Hey, you tuned <laughs> in to the best podcast in the world. Y'all know what it is, and we out.